For Kahoot, you'll notice that the URL for the teacher device is slightly different than the student device. For the teacher, you'll go to getkahoot.com, whereas the students would log in to kahoot.it. Now, when I say log in, it's as simple as entering a game pin and their name. It doesn't require an account, which is one nice feature. But Kahoot is completely teacher-directed. In other words, you need to go ahead and project your quizzes onto a projector and play them while their class is in session. Let me show you how it works. On the dashboard for Kahoot, when I've signed in with my account, I can see my Kahoots that are saved here, and I can play any of them. Um, let's go ahead and try this vocabulary one. When I hit play, then it tells me it's loading, and I have the classic mode or the team mode. I can then see a pin, a game pin, that will come up on the screen, and that is unique to this instance of this quiz. So in other words, if I start another instance of it, that number will change. When I join the room with a nickname here, then the teacher sees how many students or players have joined and has control over when to start the game. I'll hit start. This one has 15 questions and it's teacher controlled. So the question appears on the screen, eating way too much. I have time to think about what the answers might be. And then I might see a, a picture, an image, and the answer choices. On the student side, all they see are the symbols or the colors of the choices they're going to enter. I'll choose one and it tells me right away if I'm correct or incorrect and based on my speed and accuracy both so I get them right and how quickly I got them right it adds me to the leaderboard when the teacher clicks next my screen automatically or my name shows on the, the, the scoreboard and my screen automatically changes with the next question so let's just get one wrong here and you can see the difference in the student screen and now the leaderboard will display to reflect if anybody has um, risen above me. So that's how the Kahoot looks like when a quiz is in session. Um, back here on my dashboard, there's also a great feature called Public Kahoots, where there's 7,300 plus um, Kahoots that are shared um, by people where you can just do that, that quiz with your class straight from whoever's created it. You see it looks similar. And again, it'll give me a, um, a, a game pin that my students can enter. So there's a lot of great resources here, which is a great place to start before you even create your own, is just play some of the cahoots, cahoots that other people have created. And you can search for topics here and see what's available as well. But the last thing I wanna show you on this Kahoot dashboard is super important. When you are at the home screen in the upper right-hand corner, there is a wonderful PDF about uh, created by educators about creating and playing the best Kahoots. Download that, it's well worth your time. It's several pages, it's all free, um, and it'll give you um, another guide to making these quiz discussion or survey experiences with your students um, come alive and be a lot of fun.